So if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking of living in Williamsburg in Brooklyn. Williamsburg. Ah, this is probably one of the trendiest neighborhoods in Brooklyn and probably one of the trendiest neighborhoods in all of New York City at this point. Now, I would say that Williamsburg has become really trendy over the past 10 years and it still to this day has not become any less trendy. Like people are, at least from a real estate agent perspective, people are still constantly talking about wanting to move to Williamsburg, wanting to look at places in Williamsburg. And I'm waiting for like the sizzle of this neighborhood to die down, but it just doesn't even seem like that's going to happen anytime soon. So why do people love Williamsburg so much? I would say that for any neighborhood, not just a neighborhood in Brooklyn, but for any neighborhood in New York City, you truly do have everything that you need in Williamsburg. And I would say that it's one of those type of neighborhoods where you can just stay in the neighborhood and never leave if you didn't want to, because you have everything there. You have your gyms there, you have your grocery stores there, you have so many different bars and restaurants there, you have parks there. So it's just like, you don't have to go to any other neighborhoods. That also comes because of the size. It is a very large neighborhood if you're looking at it on a map compared to other neighborhoods, especially neighborhoods in Manhattan that tend to be rather small. So that also is a reason, but you can just stay in your own Williamsburg bubble and just never leave. We're gonna go into detail in this video about some of the things that you might love about Williamsburg. So Williamsburg definitely has a nightlife scene for sure. Now it has a nightlife scene like on the raging side where you can just go all night. So, and then on the other side, it also has kind of like a low key bar scene as well. So if you just wanna like casually drink throughout the night at a more like dive bar-esque type of place. So you also have that in Williamsburg too. So I would say that when it comes to a nightlife perspective, there's kind of something for everyone. Not everybody wants that low key like dive bar nightlife either. So you kind of best of both worlds here. So there's on top of the nightlife, there's also live music and an art scene in Williamsburg as well. In New York City, I feel like people expect more neighborhoods to have live music than most neighborhoods do. So I feel like there are a couple top neighborhoods that are really, really known for their live music scene. And Williamsburg is probably one of those top ones, even without it being in Manhattan. Now with such a thriving like art scene and music scene, there's even like a sports bar scene in Williamsburg as well. So there's a couple different sports bars that get like gigantic crowds on game days. And that's like a whole scene in itself there. So as you can tell from the theme of this video already, there's literally something pretty much for everybody in this neighborhood. And that's why I do understand why so many people are drawn to Williamsburg because it really does cater to everybody if you kind of think about it and really break the neighborhood down. So one of my favorite things about Williamsburg is they have tons and tons of really, really great authentic coffee shops. Honestly, it's probably like coffee capital of New York City. If anyone could think of a better coffee capital in New York City, like another neighborhood, please share in the comments because I can't really think of anything off the top of my mind. Like it's definitely in Brooklyn for sure. And I, I want to say Williamsburg just because there's so many really, really great coffee shops that have came out of Williamsburg. Like it's unbelievable. So it's one of my favorite things about the neighborhood. I love, love, love a good coffee shop. If you watch my videos at this point, you probably know that because I do talk about it a lot. And I almost prefer a good coffee shop compared to like a wine bar or a cocktail. I almost rather go for like a coffee date. I'm really strange like that. I just really, really like a good classic cup of coffee. And this neighborhood particularly has just so many of them to pick from. So you can just spend a whole day just walking from shop to shop, just trying a bunch of different coffees, even though you'll be like hyped up on caffeine, but it's going to be incredibly worth it because some of my favorite coffee shops are over there. So like I did mention in the beginning of this video, so there's a couple different grocery stores, but they do have both a Trader Joe's and a Whole Foods in Williamsburg. When it comes to gyms, they do have an Equinox in the neighborhood. Now, I don't like to say like Equinox is like the holy grail of gyms in New York City because they're pretty generic and everybody pretty much goes to an Equinox at this point. But at the same time, I do like to mention it because as a real estate agent, it is a question I do get a lot of times. A lot of people are already a member of Equinox. So if they're moving to a new neighborhood, if they can either transfer their membership or if they have the past to go to all different locations, then that does help them as well. So that's why I mentioned Equinox. But there are also a lot of really, really great boutique gyms as well in the neighborhood, like a good amount of them. So when it comes to fitness, I do think that there's like something for everybody there as well, if you like like different types of workouts too. Now, because Williamsburg has so much in the neighborhood, it tends to be very, very expensive. And that shouldn't come to a surprise to anybody because not only is there so much in the neighborhood, but if you also look at Williamsburg on a map, it is a waterfront neighborhood and waterfront neighborhood comes with amazing views of New York City. So that is fantastic, of course, because who doesn't want a view of New York City from their apartment? But at the same time, it's pricey because of those views. So there are some neighborhoods that are pretty much just as expensive as Manhattan because you're getting a view of Manhattan and it's also a great neighborhood. And that's definitely the case with Williamsburg. So you can find apartments that are cheaper for sure than some Manhattan neighborhoods in Williamsburg. However, there are gonna be some that are gonna be very comparable to some Manhattan neighborhoods. Williamsburg, I would say that from a real estate standpoint, there are some really, really, 
really cool apartments in Williamsburg. You're gonna have some that are gonna be like your standard apartments. You're gonna have some kind of almost like loft style apartments as well. So some of the new construction here also is just absolutely incredible. There's gonna be a lot more new construction as a whole in Brooklyn than there is in Manhattan just because there's more space to build in Brooklyn. So it's allowed more than it is in Manhattan, but they do exist of course in both boroughs, either renting or buying in a new construction building. I tend to recommend some neighborhoods in Brooklyn or some other boroughs just because if they're open to it, the options that you have here are unbelievable for the price. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So overall, if you're looking for a really, really lively neighborhood, kind of with a community feel, so Williamsburg could be a really good neighborhood for you. Now, if you're looking for a quiet, low-key neighborhood, I most I would not recommend Williamsburg. Now, there's a few streets kind of like on the outskirts that I guess you could say are definitely gonna be more quiet than the waterfront side of Williamsburg. But at the same time, if you're more of like a homebody and care more about like just being in a quiet neighborhood where you could just like have your like sanctuary at home, you might not want Williamsburg even if you can find a quieter apartment because you might be able to find that same type of apartment, if not a better apartment, in a more low key neighborhood bordering Williamsburg that is cheaper. So if somebody's going to Williamsburg, I almost suggest that they should take advantage of everything that Williamsburg has to offer because compared to other neighborhoods in Brooklyn and other boroughs. So if you don't care about what Williamsburg has to offer, go to one of those other neighborhoods that's cheaper where you could find, like I said, an apartment that's just as good, if not a better apartment there. So I hope this helped you figure out if you should live in Williamsburg or not. Now, if there's anything I missed in this video, you want to share your experience about living in Williamsburg, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments because as always, I love hearing from you guys.